Welcome back everyone, and if you're new here, stick around because you're in for a treat on this one. This trip we headed over to Death Valley straight out of work, so I didn't get to film much going there, but our first stop was at this old mining camp, so we're going to go venture around and check it out. This is also probably going to be a four to five part series, so keep a look out in the future for all the other parts. Yeah, the first thing we find pulling up is a little storage area. It looked like they dug out in the side of the mountain and used this as a storage area. The nice thing about this, it keeps everything at a consistent temperature and it keeps it away from the elements. So it was pretty cool seeing it and everything we found in there. Yeah, I must have had that back in the 1800s. As we start walking around, we come across the pool. Pretty crazy to find this out here, literally in the middle of nowhere with a place that really doesn't have that much water, but it's pretty funny seeing it. And after a hard day of working in a mine, it'd be really nice to jump into a pool. Before all this was built, there was a camp back here back in the 1880s with over 100 fruit trees, and it got washed away in 1897. In the 1930s, the Warm Spring Camp was established by a woman named Louise Grantham and ran all the way up to the 1980s. The main mining they did, they had 11 different talc mines. Then further on in the future, they found some gold mines and started finding a little bit of that. But the place most definitely has tons of history surrounded around it. As we continue on, we venture around from building to building and room to room. Being at nighttime, it's kind of creepy walking in and out of these rooms, but it's a good little thrill. <laughs> Back in its prime? Yeah. After venturing around the Warm Springs camp, we head on down the road to try to find our camping spot for the night. Every day is a struggle. Every day is a trial. Every day is a failure. I have to walk another mile. I'll go. Wherever you <laughs> yeah, early morning dance party. Since our first couple camp spots didn't work out, we ended up going down to the trail and stayed the night at Barker Ranch. The importance of this place is back in 1968, Charlie Manson learned about this place and eventually moved his whole cult and everything out here and they stayed out here. Then in 1969, October 12th, Manson was caught out here hiding under his kitchen sink. Kind of crazy thinking about what possibly happened or what's laying around. Who, who knows? I mean, there could be remains all scattered through this desert area, but I don't know. It's cool to see the history, and it just sucks the place got burnt down a long time ago and just destroyed so bad. It would be cool to see it back in its prime. As we head out for the day, we head down the road to another mining area where there's still a bunch of abandoned houses and mining equipment. And there's a couple mines, so let's go check them out. Yeah, we could have just camped here, but whatever. At least we got to camp with Charlie Manson. Yeah. Charlie Manson and friends. Not too sure about the history of this area and when it was all established and shut down, but it's still cool to see all the remains and all the history that's still around. Mm -hmm. 
After we get done checking out the houses, we head up the mining road. This road is pretty awesome. There's several switchbacks and it goes straight up the side of a mountain with some awesome views. Once we got to the top, we went and checked out a mine in the area. This mine still had some stuff in it, still had all the ventilation and some timbers and stuff like that. But it was pretty cool exploring it, nothing too crazy. What the hell are these things for? What? All yeah. that? It's, it's supposed to be reinforcement. It's like that because the rock's really loose. Mm. So we'll put that in there and we'll keep the rocks up. And they got mat tracks. Yeah. <laughs> After exploring the mine, we continue on. On the back side of the mountain, there's another mine back there. Then once you get to the top, there's a whole winch system that goes all the way down into the valley. So we're gonna go check that out. This cable system was pretty crazy. I would say it's a little over a quarter mile of cable going from the top to the bottom. So I could only imagine how much pressure that was on that thing when they used it. <laughs> oh my lord. Wow. Once we headed out, you run into several burrows along the way, then you'll also run into a lot more cable systems along the way since there are so many different elaborate mining areas around here. One of the best parts about this trail is the last part where you get to drive through this little wash area through a tight little canyon. So it's a pretty cool scenic area and once you get through it, it eventually dumps out in a Panamint Valley. Once we're out of the canyon, you get on a pretty smooth rose that heads over to the little town of Ballarat. This town is a, pretty much a ghost town. There's some people that live there, and this used to be the place where Charlie Manson people come down and get supplies. So we went and checked it out and ventured around to see what, everything, see what it had to offer. <laughs> the same thing. Whatever it is, it's locked.
These little ghost towns like this are pretty awesome to go check out. They usually are full of a bunch of history from the surrounding areas, and it kind of gives you a story about what went on in that area. And then plus you get to see all the old mining equipment, all the old vehicles, and it's uh, pretty cool if you're into that kind of stuff. And look at this friggin' horn. That would be sweet if you uh, kind of restored that, or like keep the same paint but clear over it. Well guys, you made it through part one of the trip. Keep a lookout for part two coming up in the next couple of weeks. I appreciate all you guys watching. If you enjoy this stuff, smash the like button and subscribe. And if you want other people to check it out, share it. I appreciate it guys. Thank you.